Voters in several Butler County districts will decide on a unique tax levy. Yeah, the question that's divided local communities calls for a tax increase for school security. Local 12's Angela Ingram is live for us in Hamilton now with a look at this new tax that is allowed by the state now, right Angela? That's right, Cammie, and there are five school districts that want a levy with money that would be specifically earmarked for school safety with a mental health component, but not everyone agrees that a levy is the best way of keeping students and staff safe. No one wants a repeat of the shooting that happened at Madison High School. So Hamilton, Edgewood, Monroe, Fairfield and New Miami school districts are pushing for a levy. It would pay for more school resource officers, security upgrades, and it has a mental health component. Superintendent Larry Knapp says many kids need the help. It affects the way these children's mind develop and so then that affects their cognitive abilities, their emotional and their social well-being. The 1.5 mil levy would stretch over 10 years. It would cost the owner of a $100,000 home an extra $53 a year in property taxes. Knapp says it would also help put a school resource officer in every Hamilton public school. We have 13 buildings though. So we, with the, the levy uh, passes, we would be adding seven more school resource officers. That would give us an officer at every building, every school day, all year long. But Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones doesn't like it. Some of these schools, like the city of Hamilton, has 20 million in reserve. Why do they need 20 or 30 more million? Jones says a better option is arming teachers and also having metal detectors. I can speak from the bully pulpit. I've been there. I've been in the cafeteria after a shooting. It's not a pretty sight from a 13 year old. We had a school resource officer. It did not stop the shooting. That won't stop it. You have to go the extra step. And Sheriff Jones also points out that he believes that it is a less expensive option if you arm staff members. Meanwhile, Superintendent Knapp is saying even if this levy does not pass, they will still be looking at all the options to provide safety for the people inside of those school buildings. Reporting live from Hamilton, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. Okay, Angela, thank you. Now, if the levy passes, it would raise $705,000 for Edgewood schools, $2.1 million for Fairfield, nearly $1.2 million for Hamilton, $510,000 for Monroe schools, and then New Miami would get more than $69,000.